Oh, boy, friends. Wow, what a great day so far. <laughs> I'm at work where finally I can relax. <laughs> Not that I relax at work, but oh, my gosh, compared to last evening. Oh, yeah. Actually, early this morning. I was sound asleep, just really kind of conked out. Now, Sandy uh, likes to, uh, there. well, we have a, a real nice easy chair, and she likes sleeping in that at night. She cuddles up in that chair. That way she doesn't have me kicking her in the back, pestering her and all that stuff. And so it works out, works out nicely. Well, I was sound asleep in the regular bed. Uh, I, heaven knows what I was dreaming about. <laughs> I'm sure it was something good. When all of a sudden the door opens, the light comes on. Sandy says, it's cold in here, in the in the house. I said, uh-oh, what do you mean? She says, it's really cold. She says, I don't, and I've been sitting on the chair there almost asleep, but the darn, uh, I, don't, I haven't heard the heater, the heat come on. The, the, the boiler has not gone on in, in a couple of hours, and it's getting cold. I said, okay, okay. So I throw my clothes on, go downstairs, and lo and behold, yep, the uh, the boiler down in the basement wasn't working. It's a, it's a hot water boiler, not a steam boiler. And so it normally uh, that, that thing's, well, we call it old reliable. <laughs> and uh, I look at it, I, I can get it to start up and blow some flame into the firebox but it goes for about, I don't know, it goes for maybe about two or three minutes and then the darn thing shuts off. And, well, that's not good enough. The house was calling, you know, the, the thermostat's calling for it to stay on. Well, the uh, the boiler was having nothing to do with that. Decided, no, that's it. I'm on strike. Fix me. Well, you know, gosh, it's like five in the morning. So you got the idea, well, you get the... the um, you get the image. You get the idea. And we're thinking, well, we do have, we have a company. They open around 7. We can call them. It's the people we buy the oil from. They have someone that does service work. We'll call them. So Sandy calls them. Uh, always best to send her on, on a mission like that to call the people and get them rousted. And, uh, yeah, well. Long story short, we got some people down in the basement now slugging away on the uh, on the burner. They think it might just be the burner got needed a little more maintenance than what it's been getting. So they're, I think they got it. I think they got it figured out. Oh, I hope so. Oh, oh, that house gets so cold. It does. And we used to have. Well, we still do have a wood stove, but I don't think we have any firewood at the moment. We, we used to actually fairly well heat that house with uh, with firewood. Yeah, it worked nicely. I know if we ever move, I want to be bringing that wood stove with us. That's for sure, if at all possible. But so anyway, sounds like all's in order. Oh, man. It's funny. Again, I know I've said this often enough. I've worked on some big boilers in my day. Uh, you know, the... The, the boiler we have in the basement is more the size of a Boilermaker's uh, lunchbox compared to some of the, some of the darn things that, you know, we'd be on and, uh, or in. And it's, uh, you know, it's when the boiler ain't working, it, there's, well, there's you-know-what to pay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough. Get it running. We need it now. Steam. More steam. <laughs> And uh, all leaves canceled and all that. But well, anyway, it looks like we're going to be okay. Hopefully it'll be a nice cozy house when I get back and Sandy will be grinning from ear to ear. Oh, I hope so. Meanwhile, I got work to do at the supermarket here, the good old Acme. And they're going to, I believe they're going to have me do, um, oh, what the heck. I, I think I'm going to be doing carts. And I think I got a little work to do in the frozen food department. After all night freezing. <laughs> Uh, I got I got to work in the frozen food locker, you know where it's five below zero. But you know something, even with the fans blowing in that in that cooler, it it seems more comfortable than when your house isn't heated isn't heated. I and I don't know why because it really there's no no comparison to the temperature difference. 
five below zero in the in the frozen locker, it might be twenty, at worst twenty degrees in the house, if that. Isn't that funny? How, I guess when it's your house, you want it the temperature you want it to be, and that's it. I guess that's how it goes. Anyway, I'll see you later. God bless. Bye now.